I am Dalan Parry, a GP, uh, and this is a, a quick guide to issuing a duplicate sick note in Emis Web uh, and using AccuRx. Uh, the caveat here is obviously that we're going through an extraordinary time with uh, coronavirus, and uh, there will be issues with employers uh, querying duplicate sick notes and so forth. So, obviously, this is not uh, the normal way to issue uh, sick notes, but we, we need to adapt to the situation that, that faces us at the moment. Right, so to issue a duplicate sick note, um, go into the consultation as usual, um, create a, a fit note as you'd normally do in EMIS. And the crucial bit, when you get to the uh, stage when you're printing off, choose uh, print to PDF. It's a good idea for you to create a, a folder somewhere on your uh, drive for fit notes and make sure it's backed up just in case you, you need it in the future. So you can use an EMIS num number there to identify the patient. So you save that into that folder. Now you need to save the consultation and reopen the consultation by saying edit consultation. and go to add fit note and choose the duplicate or reprint fit note choose the one you want to issue again uh, make sure that you print to pdf save to the same file again uh, or same folder just making sure that you change the name of the file slightly to identify the duplicate sick note uh, you might need to keep the um, the original ones just in case you need to issue them in paper format at some point in time. And you save the consultation. And then go into uh, AccuRx. Um, for our surgery, we've created a template for uh, sending fit notes out or discussing fit notes with patients. Um, but you'd, uh, in this instance, you can uh, create your own bespoke uh, message. Then attach uh, the file. And send. So you can see now that within a few seconds, uh, anything that you text from AccuRx uh, self-populates uh, into EMIS, which is excellent in terms of audit trails and uh, people seeing what's going on in the notes. Now at the patient's end, they get a text that looks a bit like this with a link to download the fit note. Before they can do that, they need to verify the date of birth, which is done here. Now once they've done this bit, they can download the file uh, onto their mobile phone and uh, it prompts them to open it up in, in a PDF viewer uh, and I guess they could uh, send it to a printer at home or just store it on their phone and that's it um, so I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching